Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for only stopping by, liking, commenting, and subscribing. For the new ones, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when I drop updates on Twist of Fate. Stay tuned on today's episode. Alia refuses to wear the pathetic dress. React tells it would be Pratchett's choice. Alia wants Pratchett to get out of their lives. Both rejoice on their success. Pratchett says it would be Ria's idea to get the London ticket for honeymoon. Feels Ria has smartly played the game. Ria informs Pratchett they have surrounded her all sides and she must marry Sid and relocate to London. Praises Alia for her idea. Pratchett reaches their room and overhears them. Ria tells they would prepare to see Pratchett off. Alia tells Pratchett would go on honeymoon. Ria sees Pratchett at the door and stops revealing their plan. Pratchett tells their relationship will change in the future too. Ria is her sister but a big fraud. Reveals she had everything. Alia asks Ria not to talk aloud and tells they were just joking. Pratchett asks them not to hide the truth and wonders why they are de denying the matter and tells them it's their idea to send her away to London and taunts Ria, who can't do anything without Alia's support. Tells she will expose their drama and lectures them on karma. Tells time will change. They would get trapped in their own plan and ask Alia to act sensible. Alia congratulates her for the marriage in advance. Prachi angrily goes. Ria inquires as to what Prachi was saying. Both joke on Prachi's future and laugh. Prachi remembers their words, feels she has no time to stop the marriage, that it's too late. She weeps and goes away. Rambi finds Prachi crying. His heart goes out to her and thinks the same, that it's too late to stop the marriage. Rambi and Prachi think of each other's romantic and cute moment of love confession. They see each other and cry, recalling their sweet relationship. Prachi gets disturbed, thinking of their marriage with Seed. Dreams of Rhea and Alia forcing her to marry Seed, to stop the marriage somehow, and thinks to leave the house to avoid the marriage, pack her bag and leaves from her room. Rambi stops her and asks her if she's leaving the house or running away from the truth. She tells she is leaving because she can't tolerate it. He tells it too late now. She tells it not late. She can still decide for her life. He asks her not to be selfish and think of her baby who won't have a good future. He won't know about his dad and family and advises her to pity her baby and think of his future, that she is committing a big sin. She asks him not to lecture her about the sin. Tells he didn't think about her. He tells he doesn't know what she's saying. She tells he has no right to ask her anything. He tells they are connected by faith. Their good and bad deeds are also connected. That they love or hate each other. They can't get separated from each other and both cry. She melts her heart and hugs him and tells she's scared of separation. He adds that fear is important in life. They should have fear of losing something in order to achieve it. Reciprocates his love and hugs her. Rhea reaches there and gets to see them sharing a hug and makes them away from each other. Rambi tells Rhea he was just explaining to Prachi when she was leaving from the house. Rhea asks Prachi if she was leaving the house without marrying. When she knows to stand for the truth and taunts Prachi. Prachi asks Rambi not to say anything about her. That she would give all the answers. She would get married at any cost. Ria asks her why she's saying so, that she's like she's doing a big favor on them by marrying Sid. She had to marry him somehow because she's carrying Sid's child. Pachi asks Ria to worry about her own child, that many lives will change after their marriage and challenges them to try hard and stop the marriage if they want. Ria has no interest in stopping the marriage. Pachi takes Ria's challenge. Ria doesn't want to get scared and knows Pachi is scaring her. Shana meets Prachi and learns she was leaving the house. Prachi tells she's feeling too scared, nothing will get fine because it's too late and wants to run away from everyone. Tells Shana she didn't decide this suddenly and tells her fears. Shana asks her not to cry that Rambi and she have shared their fears. This means everything would get okay. Prachi tells things won't get fine until she tells the truth to Rambi. Shana pacifies her. Rambi comes enraged later when he hears the ladies praising the auspicious wrangle, vent her anger and Spoils the Rangoli. Palavi finds Rambi upset. Rambi sits consigned to repair the shattered Rangoli. She comes to assist him and asks him not to get angry and not doubt his decision, that her decision can hurt him, but he will soon get happy when he finds Prachi seed and their baby happy. Rambi desires Prachi. He is filled with grief, but all he wants is to keep peaceful memories and tells he would live with memories of Prachi. Prachi gets decked up as a bride, tells her intention is right. Rhea meets and compliments her and asks her not to say a word, instructs Prachi. Prachi asks Rhea not to say anything, just wants to talk to Rambi. Rhea tells she is actually feeling sorry for Prachi and asks her to play a game and then see who wins and wants Prachi to marry Sid and tells they will see who wins, Rambi. 
declares just they both will play the game. It's so exciting to see who wins. She's confident she would win and asks Pratchett to accept the challenge and wants her to congratulate her. Tells when Pratchett sits in the Manda put seat, then she will see Ria winning the game and it's over already. Pratchett grows worried. Vikram and Arian have a funny banter. Arian isn't surprised seeing Millie. Vikram jokes that Lian isn't late in having kids. Arian asks Vikram not to give any wrong training and collides with Dida. Finds Alia colliding with Palavi. Palavi holds her. Alia thanks her for saving her. Why Rambi is smiling? Who is he saying? Rambi hears about the bride coming. And Ria gets Prachi. They see Rambi in front. Rambi asks Prachi's hand. Alia wonders if Rambi is seeing Prachi with love and intending to take her along. Rambi tells he would take Prachi to demand up. Arian gets glad when Shana holds his hand. He grows worried when Millie also holds his hand. Rambi drops Prachi in the mandap. Prachi walks ahead and goes away from the mandap, thinking Rambi is with her. Realizes he isn't with her, turns to see Rambi. Prachi, Rambi finds her crying and consoles her, wipes her tears. Thank you guys for watching today's update on Twist of Fate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.